Every open stretch of straightaway, every adrenalizing lap on the track, offers further proof that M is the most powerful letter in the world. Achieving that level requires great vision. M philosophy is to basically take a production car with all the utility, all the amenities of a production car and add to this the performance of a real sports car, almost a race car. Wenn Brötchen holen in die Stadt fahren, kann da gemütlich durchgrüßen, um danach, wenn er denn sein Brötchen genossen hat, auf die Rennstrecke zu gehen, um eventuell seine persönlichen Bestzeiten für diesen Tag noch mal zu optimieren. M cars are not tuned, rather BMW M crafts every aspect of its vehicles in total harmony. Es reicht uns also nicht nur einen starken Motor in eine Karosserie einzubauen, um und einen anderen Dämpfer dazu äh, zu entwickeln und fertig ist das Auto. Nein, alle Bauteile in diesem Fahrzeug sind speziell auf dieses Gesamtkonzept abgestimmt. M stands for Motorsport, a company within a company that BMW founded in 1972. The M1 was the first M-badged car. It was quite amazing when Paul Roche in the 70s put the M1 sports car engine, which was very close to a race car engine, into a regular 5 Series sedan. Nobody expected that a 5 Series BMW could be that fast. That created a lot of sensation because the car was performing like a sports car and had the character of a race car. It looked more or less like a regular 5 Series. But the Porsche driver on the Autobahn, I mean, he would know sooner or later what kind of 5 Series that was. BMW M is a skunk works by design, owned by yet independent from BMW. Everyone at M has a passion for racing gasoline flowing through their veins. We have people in the company who worked on the 1983 Formula One engine where Nelson Piquet became world champion. We have people who joined the Le Mans program. They were working on the M3 GTR. And we have people who were working on the Formula One V8 engine from last year. So that is a special breed of people here. And they have those M genes in the heart, in their head. Bei der BMW M GmbH zu arbeiten, ist natürlich die Idealvorstellung. Man kann Hobby zum Beruf machen. Wir haben hier nur Autofans. Wir können hier unsere Autos entwickeln, wie wir sie uns selber vorstellen. Das ist perfekt. Und natürlich ist immer der beste Motor der letzte, den man entwickelt hat. Das ist in dem Fall der neue Motor für den M3, der S65. M craftsmanship is extremely particular with every phase of the design. The M design language is a very clear, powerful, and very engineered driven language for the designer. And that means everything we do has a reason, a really physical reason. Doing M design means listening to the people around us, engineers, test drivers, ergonomics. It's driver oriented. The thickness of the steering wheel, the diameter of the steering wheel, the seat position. We try to bring everything in a balance that the driver is relaxed and can concentrate on the road. Everything we do is for the reason to be able to drive this car fast. Everything the M designer does has an outcome on performance, especially lap times on the legendary Nürburgring Nordschleifer racetrack. I have a ganz taufrisch eine Zeitung, eine, eine Motorsportzeitung in die Hand bekommen. War ein Journalist in der Lage, in beinahe acht Minuten den Nürburgring zu umrunden. Das sind fabelhafte Zeiten, die nur Sport, extreme Sportwagen erreichen. If you go around fast corners, the N engine has to be capable of handling such situations with those high accelerations, like in a race car engine. So it's lightweight, it's efficient, it loves to rev up high, it has a low mass inertia, so you can really crank it up easily to the rev limiter. It has an incredible sound, but maybe a little bit different from a race car engine, it's very reliable and robust. From the high revving engines to the extremely responsive steering, chassis and brakes, an M car is engineered to give the driver a heightened awareness of how the car is interacting with the road. All the controls are very responsive and very sensitive. So the way you can activate the throttle and the way the engine responses, how responsive, how close, how direct, how tight that is, that is really unique. And also if you apply the brakes, the way how the brakes really then slow the car down and the feedback that you get from the brake pedal into your foot, you know exactly 
when you will stop the wheel on the tarmac. The end customer is unique and very demanding. The senses of a driver, of a customer in this case, have to be pleased. And if you just give them uh, whatever he's used to, he's very quickly bored. You need to give them experiences and feelings what he doesn't find in other cars. With the M cars, we try to touch all those senses so that the driving experience is a very emotional way of driving instead of just a piece of transportation. They are racers, they are not regular people. They want to be in front, they want to lead, they want to be fast. And I think it's always a little bit of a fight between the machine and the man. So to be able to get everything out of an M car, to really bring it to the limit and then control an M car at the limit, I think this is what our M car drivers enjoy.